Hey, it's Michael Bungay standing here from Box of Crayons here, and uh, I wanted to shoot a quick video with you. Uh, by my computer, which is just over there, I have this little card, and on the card are the uh, six values at Box of Crayons that we strive to bring to the world, and we strive to show up in a way that actually emulates and actually embodies these values. And I don't know if you can see them from where you are, but they say, create impact, have fun, pursue elegance, tread lightly, be generous and stay curious. Those are the, the six values that try and influence the way we work and we show up at Box of Crayons. And I thought I'd just talk for a minute about the, the value about being generous. Um, there's an obvious way of being generous, of course, which is you give stuff away. And you know, in Box of Crayons, we do try and give a lot out. We give a lot free, our movies, interviews, all sorts of bits and pieces we put out to the world with no expectation about getting stuff back. It's really a gift to the world and please, take it, use it, adapt it, play with it, that's fantastic. And it's very nice to be in the position where we have a business model that actually allows us to give a bunch of stuff away and we charge for stuff and me and my family, we, live, we have a lovely lifestyle and life based on what we can earn through what we do charge for. But I think the being generous goes to uh, another place which is a, a generosity of spirit. And I think of that as a uh, a couple of things. One is um, one is what I call API, assume positive intent. I think it can be very easy for me, I speak just for me, to kind of be suspicious about what's going on, suspicious of people's motives. And you, you have two choices. One is you can show up assuming people are going to not screw you over or, or coming with good intent, or you can assume people are coming with a kind of less than good intent. And uh, both of them have their pros and cons. Um, for me, the advantage of coming with assuming positive intent is, even though sometimes that means I get my toes tread upon and sometimes I miss stuff or I get stuff taken from me, um, it means that I get to see people in a much more generous, giving, positive light. And that actually means they're more uh, pleasant to be around and I actually benefit from that assumption of assuming positive intent. I think the other piece is, uh, a generosity of the time you spend with people. And I'm not very good at this. I'm trying to be better at it. Um, what I find in our busy business worlds, we often move into this sense of transaction with people. What can you give me? What can I give you? Am I doing you a favor? Are you doing me a favor? But there's this sort of, Robert Cialdini wrote about it first in his book, Recip uh, influence and the first law of influence is reciprocity so there's a sense of well, let me give you more stuff and let me give you stuff and maybe i'll get stuff back and i noticed myself falling into that that uh, style of interaction more than i would like so that piece around truly showing up and going how do i do you a favor how do i give you something how do i give you my time how do i give you my real presence how do i just be with you i think that can be very powerful and uh and very human. You know, Martin Buber uh, wrote about there basically being two styles of relationship. There's I, it, and there's I, thou. I, it is when you see, you end up seeing the other person as a, an object because of something. Uh, maybe you've been pushed into the drama triangle, maybe they've annoyed you, but you stop seeing them as being the human that they truly are and you see them as something less than that, as an it. Uh, when you have that deeper sense of connection, you get that sense of I, thou and it's precious and it's rare and I think coming at it from, from the value of be generous is one way of connecting with I thou. So I'm curious to know what your values are, whether they're explicit, how do you keep them top of mind, how do you keep yourself engaged in that conversation as to am I living up to my values. Um, and if you want to put some comments down about that around who you are, what you stand for and how you keep values alive please do add them to the comments on the blog there. I'm Michael Bungay Stanier from boxofcrayons.biz.